Going Beyond the Lecture, Professional Development. Or not to lecture? That is the question. It's certainly an easier route to go, especially when you can't see your students. It's a method that you grew up with. It's a method I grew up with. But how many times can one of you pick out one or more times that you were in a lecture and your eyes glazed over? What could the instructor have done in that lecture to make it more interesting? Go ahead and pause the video now and consider, reflect, or journal about that time and what the teacher could have done to improve the presentation. Those improvements are what we need to keep in mind when we are creating our own presentations. Lectures are hard to sit through, and according to studies, when a learner participates in the lecture method, about 80% of the presented trainings are forgotten within eight weeks. This is in a normal 16-week course. We have a lot more packed into six weeks, so consider what that says about the retention rate of the lectures that you give. In a study conducted in a high school in Oregon, students were divided into two groups. One group was lecture-based, and the other group had minimum lecture and emphasis on hands-on learning. Students were polled afterwards about their satisfaction of the science course. Of the students in the lecture-based course, 55% stated that they were satisfied. In the blended learning environment, 70.9% of the students were satisfied. That's a huge difference. So why do we care about this study? It all comes back to the age-old concept of student engagement. Student engagement is the degree of attention, curiosity, interest, optimism, and passion a student shows when they are being taught. This relates to the amount of motivation a student will have to complete a task. Can we make all the material we present entertaining? No. And it's important to recognize that. However, it is also important to know the several areas at Primavera where we can add student engagement. Think now of what those areas might be. Again, I encourage you to pause the video right here and either jot those down or reflect or journal on where are those areas that we can add student engagement. Today, we will be specifically talking about synchronous and asynchronous sessions. Engagement for sessions have three stages. Asking the students to attend, participation during the session, and participation and application after the session. The key as we push forward will be to involve the students in activating engagement as much as we possibly can.